I'm at Silicon Valley Comic Con, just tried the uh, Tactical Haptics, Haptic Feedback Controller for the Vibe, and it was absolutely amazing. It just makes the VR experience a lot more unique, as opposed to just seeing everything. It's so much more immersive when you get to, like, I had a gravity gun in my hand, and you could just feel the weight of it almost as you picked up, the, picked up a box and then shoved it away in the air. I was able to pick up objects. Um, it was it was really cool because I had one that didn't have the sheer feedback, so I was just picking up objects. The other one, I could actually feel the tension in my hand, like I actually was almost physically holding it. It was a lot of fun just grabbing something and swinging it back and forth and feeling the difference as you swung one way versus the other way, which you don't get with you know normal vibration. Yes, everything about this is good. I felt like I was actually shooting a gun, whereas the left hand, I just felt like I was just holding a controller. Yeah, I said one. Yeah, you really feel like something physical is there, even though you know that it's not. It's really amazing how the, the haptic controller makes you feel uh, like everything's just more real. It really helped me connect better with the game versus just sitting on the couch pushing buttons. The haptic feedback is interesting because it's. Uh, it's kind of that missing link. This is Comic a great Comic. little demo. Actually, every time I try it, I'm <laughs> so impressed. Oh, oh this is so satisfying. I thought this experience was amazing. Honestly, that's probably my favorite VR demo that I've had here in the conference. It was really awesome. Uh, instead of the normal vibration that usual that you usually get in controllers, it was almost like an actual touch of an object. If I'm just moving a cursor in space, I want to be He's like the yeah. chill frog. I want to be there. It felt like the ink was squirting out of the gun and it was pushing my hand back a little bit. It almost felt like the paint was coming out of the gun. Like the feedback was really good. Yeah, like I'm working on the real material. Every bit of feedback and it is that getting into this gives you so much more. Playing like Minecraft or something where you're you're creating and building, it, it it's exactly what you need. Big difference really came with the bow. It felt more like you're actually shooting an arrow and like more realistic. It felt like I was doing archery. Instead of just feeling your controller like shake heavily, you can just feel the actual arrow pulling back, which is pretty cool. As I'm pulling back the uh, the string, I can feel it the, the pressure in my hand. So I'm like, okay, okay, and then you're just ready to let it go. It made it a lot easier to figure out what was happening with the aiming and the things like that, trying to get the little drone. Definitely see it in a first-person shooter application. It'd be really cool to, I don't know, have like a handgun and then if you uh, pick up another handgun with, with a higher caliber, it, where it would change the feedback and be more powerful. Hi. 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 Okay. Puzzle games. Um, We're interacting with all the people in the car. And uh, some of my certain types of simulation games. I would love to be able to play a game with that, to have that kind of immersion factor, like a purchase sword or shooter or whatnot. It felt like a real gun in the hand. That was it was almost a little too much feedback, to be honest. You kind of feel like your hand is moving back and forth with like uh, the automatic recoil and all that stuff, and it, it, it definitely adds to the whole immersion of everything. Getting the feedback from the controller was huge in my experience. And I have to say, I never want to go back to anything without the, the haptics that you guys are providing. It's so much better. My mind's going crazy about the potential application. I'm really, really excited.